Hey guys, welcome back to some brand new Ultimate Arc, and today we're gonna be heading in to do our very first artifact cave here on Scorched. Get away from me. <laughs> These things are annoying. Get out of my face. So, uh, let me bring you guys up to speed here a little bit, because I've done some work between episodes. So, the last one was the one where we built up the base a little bit and did some other stuff. So, between then and now, I have bred the dire wolves, and they now have four mutations, and this is what they look like. I actually really like the colors on them so far. We've got, like, a nice kind of, like, whitish gray on the back. We've still got the little red socks, and now we've got this, like, bluish color for the main body, which looks really cool. And dire wolves have three regions for colors, so that's all that we're gonna have. Um, but I'd be open to, like, changes to this, but I do like that blue and that red, so... If anything, I wouldn't mind if we got a different color on the back, but we'll see. We are going to continue with Direwolf mutations a little bit, but not insanely. Um, we will be, of course, like using them quite a lot to actually gather stuff like polymer and everything. But uh, for today, these guys are going to do the cave with me. So we've got five in total and we've got Lola, uh, which is the name of my <laughs> Siberian Husky. And then we've got uh, Beta, Charlie, uh, Delta and Echo and they're all like following as well. So we're gonna be heading into the old tunnels I think is what this cave is called. So let me go ahead and just grab out my GPS and Show you guys where it is. So I mean you can start off here or you can start off in there But yeah, this is where I like to walk through. It's kind of like this really cool looking um, Ruins of like a gate that used to be here. Oh, what? I thought you could actually walk them through Okay <laughs> Well, that sucks that we can't actually walk them through but I know that you can actually drop down into there so that's really dumb <laughs> we've got to like run around already oh my god all right well anyway guys make sure that you hit the like button if you find yourself enjoying this one really just help me out i do appreciate it of course and um we're gonna we're gonna get into this cave don't worry <laughs> there's not gonna be any issues bringing these things in i just gotta like run up the hill and then drop down into that area so unfortunately you have to do it that way i think that maybe they could widen that gate a little bit to get some tames in because, like, if you can walk them around and drop them down anyway, then what's the point of blocking it? But whatever. Um, so I've also got a crap ton of new weapons. I've just been, like, flying around, like, while I was waiting for direwolves mainly to poop out. I've been flying around, uh, collecting up all of the drops. Why did it suddenly get, like, super bright here? That is so weird. Uh, so, yeah, we could, like, drop down right here. Yeah, this would be fine. Come on, boys. Wait for it and jump off. <laughs> are they following? Okay, yeah, they are. We're good. Um, but yeah, I've been running around collecting up a bunch of uh, beacons around the place. And we found a long neck blueprint. So I made two of them. It's got really good damage, but its durability is like almost trash. I, I think the regular durability for long necks is like 100. So this one's not much better, but its damage is way more, which is awesome. So super happy about that. Discord, why are you on loud? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, all right, let's uh let's go over here. So, we're going to just like follow the pathway in here and then head straight up to the cave entrance. Uh what else do we have? We have a flamethrower now. Um we have picked up a few blueprints for like flamethrowers and things already, but this is a straight up one that I pulled from a drop. I do actually have another blueprint which is slightly better, but I didn't really feel like making it if I already have like it just the actual flamethrower itself. And it's still pretty good, so we're going to be using this one. Uh, what else do we have? Oh, I made up some flame arrows. Um, and, oh, we have a chainsaw. And then a bunch of grenades that I've been getting from the drops as well. And I brought the oil jars just for fun. I don't know if we're actually going to get to use them. So here is the cave entrance. I love this little area here, by the way. It's really cool. Um, so we're going to be right over here to get into the cave. And you can walk darwolves in through here. So we should be good to go. Let's get in. Um, hopefully I don't get killed at all. Actually, I've just realized I brought a bed to place down. So we can't place it in here, but we should be able to place it just outside here. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Sweet. Didn't look like I could place it, but whatever. Alrighty. So let's walk these things through and, uh, do this cave. So we're going to just gamma up a little bit. But, uh, no, we don't actually need to be. Super cool. I like this, like, goopy, glowy stuff up here. It's really strange. <laughs> so I've got, like, explosives and everything to be able to do this because there are rubble golems, which is kind of like the mini version of a rock golem in this cave. And uh, if they're in my way, I'll kill them. If I don't have to kill them, I won't. Like, But if, if I have to get through an area and they're in the way, I want to have something to actually uh, hurt them with. There's one right there. Speaking of them. Oh, my God. Let's go over here, boys. 
Oh, they've jumped off already. Okay, never mind. Run loose, boys. Uh, they're fighting him down there, I think. That's not good. Let me quickly just... Okay, maybe you don't do anything. They're legitimately just fighting him. I'm gonna have to get down there. Oh, there's a cloth glove blueprint. That's amazing. Come on, boys. Let's go over here. I'm gonna have to rocket at that thing. I don't think that... Okay. Charlie and Echo can't get out of there. Echo is following Charlie. That's why uh, both of them were stuck. Okay. That's great. So we're gonna have to get back in there with our... Ah, uh... oh, crap. We've got a snake following us. Oh, nice. That thing does a decent amount of damage. Alrighty. Well, let me... Oh, that missed somehow. Let me go ahead and just close this over here. We're good. Uh, okay, so there's some stuff coming. I couldn't get on. Oh, man. Let's just attack anything that comes to us and then get down there and fight that rubble golem. I wish I had a Velanosaur. They're, like, super good against rock golems and rubble golems as well, of course. Because they do just normal damage to them. It's great. Oh, man. Are we good? Okay, now let's go on passive and let's just stay back here for a moment so I can deal with that. And we're super heavy. Wow, all right, great. <laughs> let's do that. We're good now? All right, cool. Let me actually just pump a level of weight onto you because I don't want to have to deal with that so much. Let's see. So, Rubble Golem is like there. I want to try and actually get him out of the ground first just so I don't shoot a rock. Is that him? Yeah, that's him right there. Okay, that really hurt him. Damn, we killed him. Nice. Okay. Now let's just reload this and then hop back onto Lola. So I love the caves on this map. Like, I honestly love them. They are so fun to me. I don't know why. They just feel so adventury and kind of like Indiana Jonesy. I don't know. I just love it. I really do. So, um... Just any any excuse to do these caves again is just really good. Uh, what do we have around here? We got a bunch of onyx and spiders. I don't think there's any more rubble golems, though. Yeah, let's just kill these guys. We don't need the whole pack to be attacking. What's over there? Uh, okay, let's put them back onto neutral then. All right, well, seeing as you don't want to come to me then, I'll just shoot you. What? It, why is that onyx flying away? Like, what is wrong with them? Ah! Get him! Um, I don't know what this one up here is doing. <laughs> there we go. We got him. All right. Let's, uh, let's reload this. I love my alpha implant. It looks so cool. Let's see what's over here. Okay. No, that is the way. What is over there though? I thought that there was something over here. Okay. Never mind. It's just, yeah, it's just all of this. Oh, there's snails. Oh, it's amazing. 250. That's not something I could tame. I wonder if I could tame the... Uh, okay, that's level 200. If I could find, like, a low level, could you tame them on here? I'm not even sure if you can. That would be cool, though. So what do we get in that drop? We got this, and I think we got this. I'm, I'm just going to drop that, because that's heavy, and I don't need it at all. Um, and we'll just go ahead and do that. And I'm actually just going to disable victim item collection on this guy. This girl. This is a girl, right? Okay, I didn't even realize when I named it. <laughs> Let's see. Where is disable uh, harvest? There it is. V victim item collection. All right, cool. Let's see. Or do I have to disable the other one as well? I'm not sure if I do. Just do it anyway. Can't hurt. Get him, boys. All right. And we're stunned. Is that an Arthro up ahead? I think it is. Yeah. Just let me see, though. Killed one. Another one to kill. Got him. You do extra damage with a long neck to Arthros, in case you're wondering why we did so much damage there. Because they're so OP. Arthros really are. Um, I would say there's probably a Rubble Golem right there, and probably another one down there. Let me just check and see. Yeah, that's a Rubble Golem. All right. Let's go ahead and just try to bring the wolf pack back a little bit so they don't freak out and go all over the place. 
I'm gonna go ahead and kill that then. So passive. And... Got him. He's still in rock form. Oh, there we go. Okay. And you're dead. Sweet. Is he gonna fall? <laughs> I think he is. No? Alright, cool. Let's grab Lola. And proceed. So this spot right here, I freaking love this spot with the... Oh, there's a drop up there. What? Are you kidding me? That's the yellow drop. Why is it there? <laughs> if I had known I would have needed like grapples in here to get up there, I totally would have brought some. Actually, to be honest, I should have brought grapples. What was I thinking? But uh, that's so stupid. Anyway, yeah, it's all these people like worshiping an obelisk. Looks super cool. Okay, let's get everybody onto neutral. Weapons hot, boys. Kill them. We're all good. Just kill the snail. Got it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I didn't realize that I'd need grapples in here. Just completely slipped my mind. I had so many other things to bring. That's a megalania up there. Don't want that thing giving me mega rabies, so let's try to kill it. All right, my wolves are down there. Well, some of them are. I'm just going to try and kill the snails because I might be able to find like a level that I can tame down here at some point. All right. Looks like my guys are killing everything. I need to kill you. Nice. Uh, anything else down here? I mean, there's another snail right there. It's a level 250. Great. Super high level. Why are you such a high level? Doesn't make sense. Um... Alrighty. So I do believe we can walk through here. Uh, okay. So right here. Oh, I love this. This is, I don't know why. It's just so cool. I don't know. I just find it extremely cool. You've got like these tombs here and then these ones are like slightly newer as well, which is crazy. So you can see there's like an actual like human body here from probably not extremely long ago. <laughs> He's kind of like merged into the rock a little bit, but it's really disgusting to look at, but still. So cool how there's actual, like, bodies just sitting there. And they're wearing, like, uh, you know, the cloth armor and stuff like that. It's just... It's kind of freaky. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I know we've seen bodies in other caves before. Like, the ones on Ragnarok. Um, you can see, like, frozen bodies. But I, I think it's a little bit freakier when you see them with actual clothes on. So right here, we've got a Rockwell note. If only we had known he was going to betray us. So let's get that uh, XP bonus, even though I don't really need it. Right here, we've got another uh, crazy looking, um, I don't even know, work of art, essentially. Uh, this right here looks like a normal spider, but it's actually supposed to be the Broodmother. Then we've got Megapithecus, Dragon, and then the Manticore up there. It's super cool, and you can see it's kind of centered around the arm with the implant. So I guess the survivors started to kind of figure out what was going on when they were here. Um, well, whoever built this. I don't even understand the lore behind this. I gotta read it all at some point. We got some more tombs here. Just tons of bones everywhere. Wow. It's kind of crazy. Um, this stuff here, by the way, I do believe is crystal. And then... This is where it can kind of start to get a little bit crazy. Now, I might actually benefit from walking them... Like, one at a time almost through here. So, I'm gonna just... See if they'll follow without falling. Yeah, you're totally gonna, like, fall off or something, aren't you? Come on. Why do you have to be stuck like this? There we go. Alright. So we're good. We got these ones down. Let's, uh ride on charlie and get it down so the artifact is down there and i do believe this is called the artifact of the gatekeeper and this cave is called the old tunnel so i was right about that damn 275 snail <laughs> like why i don't even understand yeah i probably brought too many dara wolves down here to be honest so maybe i can go from here with just the one Let's put them all into passive. Okay, that didn't work somehow. 
Okay, I gotta kill these things, so I might actually have to back up and get away a little bit. Don't spit on me. Got him. Where's that Arthro gone? Is it falling? I think it just fell. All right. So obviously the dire wolves aren't gonna like jump after me here. So I'm just gonna have to leave them, uh, which is fine. Let me just draw some stuff over to me though. Okay. So there's an Arthro and there's a bunch of Onik over there too. Crap. Yeah, bringing the Darwolves any further than here would mean that it would be super difficult to get them out of here. Okay, that one's dead. Um, a bunch of them over there. Didn't. Okay, that that missed. That's great. Uh, is this one coming? Yeah. Got it. Okay. Just a small jump, and then another jump. Gotta make that first jump a small one so you don't bounce around the place. Okay, we got it. We're good. One thing I forgot to do is put these onto my bar. Um, okay. Let's progress down here a little bit more. More tombs. Oh, that's a lot of stuff. That's a lot of, uh... Is that an Arthur over there? I think it is. Maybe I'll chuck a grenade thing. I've got those cluster grenades that I've been getting from drops. <laughs> It'd be kind of fun to, like, throw it at that Arthro. Ah, die. Got him. All right, where are they? Die, Arthro scum. Oh, my God. It blew up right on me. Oh, God. That was horrible. Well, at least it didn't kill me. Oh, that didn't do anything. Oh, that was just terrible. Did they nerf those? Got him. Oh, that was a headshot on a 150. Wow. How much did that hurt me? Okay, my... Yeah, my armor's like halved. Can't believe we got a blueprint for this. I've never gotten blueprints for those at all from like caves here. Maybe I just had the worst luck ever. I don't know. That's awesome though. Really happy about that. Once I know that they're down here, I can almost farm them at some point. Um, okay. Down here a bit more. I don't see any more Arthros, so we should be good. Now, the annoying part is that I don't think otters are on this map, on this map. So, uh, <laughs> farming the artifact means I'm going to have to like bring them out one by one and bring them back to the base one by one. So that sucks, but, uh, yeah, we're just gonna have to deal with it. So artifact of the gatekeeper, let's take that. And we get a skin with it as well, which is something cool on Scorch. I don't think they've done that on any of the other maps. Let's go ahead and just check that out. I somewhat remember, it's got like a T-Rex skull. Somehow it's a T-Rex skull. It's probably a Raptor skull actually. Yeah, that doesn't make sense that that's a T-Rex skull. What the hell's wrong with me? But uh, yeah, super cool looking. Like it just, it just takes the pike and then adds stuff onto it and Super cool, like definitely something I would come down here specifically to get because it's that cool. Um, so yeah, that's really awesome. I love that. They never did that on any of the other DLCs though. Uh, it would have been nice for sure. Okay, so this is where it's kind of getting a little bit dark. What's that? That's a dead Arthro. Let's just chuck some of these grenade things after we kill these spiders or maybe before. Bam! Whatever that is out there, we killed it. Almost. <laughs> Let's just keep spamming these because I don't see any other use for them. <laughs> Damn, dude. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. Let's kill these guys. Sometimes there can be a red drop down here, so it's worth coming down to check. Okay, what do we got down here? Let's just wait. Let's see. No red drop today. Oh, there is a red drop. Sweet. All right, there could be a rubble golem over there, though. Oh, watch out! Oh, God! <laughs> that was... That was really dumb. Oh, that's an Arthro. Run, 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 run. I don't want it to break my armor. 
Okay, he just sped. Got him. I'm not sure if there's any more, though. Could be. Okay. Die! Mantis scum. And also spider scum. What are you guys doing? Oh, there's a rubble golem! Oh, if only I didn't aggro that thing. We might be able to trick it so we don't have to fight it. Maybe. Or you know what? Maybe we'll just fight it. Whatever. Bam. Mantis are dead. That somehow missed. Or did it. What level are you? Oh my god. Okay, we got him. Level 15. I don't know what else is back there, but something's alive. Okay, so 20 flamethrower ammo and a uh, chainsaw. Okay, not bad. I mean, it's not as good as my one, but yeah. Not bad. What is that over there? Eh, doesn't matter. Alrighty, so let's head back out of here. Really annoyed about that yellow drop that's like halfway down the cave. Should have brought some freaking grapples. Sucks. Let's head back up though. So the artifact is back. Let me just double check that you can't both amount of Jerboas. Please. Please tell me. Oh, wrong one. Yeah, you can't. <laughs> that sucks. All right. So, yeah, I could just take one at a time. Um, that's going to really suck for farming them up and whatnot. So I'll probably only grab three in total uh, from each of the caves. Like, because I'm going to need to do the gamma, then beta, then alpha of each of the bosses. So no point of really grabbing any extras. I could just have like the set that I'm going to use for the alpha as like my little set um, for decorating my base a little bit with the trophies. So yeah, uh, let's head back up here though. We've got our direwolves to get out of here. Really shouldn't have even brought these guys down. Should have just left them up there. Walk them back though. Hopefully nobody falls. Okay, you guys are good. All right, we're good. Sweet. Let's leave you there. And let's get these last two. Okay. Whoop. Follow me. You good? All right, good. Sweet. So let's get them on fall now. There's no danger from here. There could be some stuff in the cave and some more drops. So I'll keep you guys around. But it should only take like two minutes to get back out of here. It's a pretty quick cave in terms of like the scorched ones. Um, I think the other two are like a little bit longer and they're full up with more creatures as well. Let's see. Yeah, they are coming. Sweet. So hopefully there's a couple more supply drops around here somewhere. Everybody got everybody. Yeah. All four of you. Sweet. So artifact of the gatekeeper. That's one down two to go. Um, so the next one I think is probably going to be grave of the tyrants which is in the blue mountain. We m we're missing a wolf. We're missing uh, Delta. I think it's probably down there. Yeah, it is. Great. It's in the blue mountainous area is uh, where the, the Grave of Tyrants is. And that one, I do believe, has the artifact of the crag. And then the, uh, the last one is... What is it called again? Oh, man runes of nasty and that's like located out in the desert kind of close to the green ob so there's three caves on this map one's near red obelisk which is this one blue and then green so kind of cool but to separate them out quite a lot get this guy up and get you over here i really want that you think i can get up there somehow like i don't have anything for climbing or anything like that i just really want it let me see if I can, like, jump a direwolf over there. I might be able to do that. Okay. Oop, you're in K mode. Just unfollow, and then just try to see if we can jump a direwolf. Because then I might be able to get to it. Okay. Maybe from, like, right here. Probably get over to there on that little ledge. Whoop. Oh, I bounced. Okay. Well, you know what? I think that's probably possible, but... I just bounced quite a lot there. 
I could even hop off if I'm like super close to actually getting up. Whoa. Okay, no, no. <laughs> okay, so I think I'm just gonna give up on that. I don't think that's really gonna be possible. I've tried it several times and that time just there, we kind of got a little bit stuck. So I don't know. I'm kind of nervous now that if I keep going, I'm gonna end up actually like getting stuck against that. I kind of feel like I got super close to it to actually like opening it, but it just wouldn't open. So I don't know. Maybe it just can't open. I'm not going to try anymore. Hopefully we'll have better luck on the other drops in the other caves and also in this cave because sometimes there can be a blue one back here, right? Let's see, Let's just kill all these guys and then we can get out of this cave. I can't hit anything apparently. Okay. There's a rubble golem. Of course there is. All right, maybe we can just like run straight out instead of actually fighting these things. Follow me, everybody. Let's just leave. So is there a blue drop back up there? No. All right, well, we could just leave the, the cave. We don't actually have to, um, we don't actually have to do this properly. Fight through everything. Um, if I can get around there, Jesus. All right, come with me sweet so yeah that is the old tunnels cave for the oh god ah wait for it there we go for the artifact of the gatekeeper i hope you guys have enjoyed the video um i'm gonna head back to base now and we have our very first artifact i'm gonna leave that bed right there totally gonna just leave that bed right there because i don't even need to move it still deloading the cave a little bit let's actually run out the other way and i can show you the other entrance to this area but uh, yeah, if you guys have enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit the like button. If you want to see more like this, you can, of course, subscribe. And we'll see you in the next one. But quickly, I'm just going to show you guys the coordinates to this entrance here. We're having serious trouble, like, deloading this whole cave area. <laughs> Let's see. You have everybody? Cool. There we go. What is? What are those guys over there doing? What are you, what are you doing over here? Charlie, go, go that way. Echo, go. Oh, crap. Lola was following me. Didn't even realize. All right, great. <laughs> so let me let me quickly show you guys this side. And these are the coordinates to the other entrance. I'll see you guys in the next one.